Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to make this simple timeline in Canva. So go to the home page in Canva. I'm going to do this on the free version. I don't have the paid version. So just go to canva.com. You will have to put in your email address, but that's all you need. Go to create a design and in the top search bar here, just type in A4 landscape and here you'll see document A4 landscape. Now this is the size I'm using but of course you can use any size you like. So over here is your work area and you've got some icons on the left hand side here which we're going to use to access the different shapes and text and colors etc. So first of all I'm going to go to elements and then go to shapes and click see all and then I'm going to insert a square then in lines, I'm going to insert one of these lines here and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to insert one of these items here and I'm going to insert this one here. So now we've inserted all of those, just click on anything in your page and just move it out of the way. There we go. And we're just simply going to make up one portion of the timeline, then we're going to copy and paste it. It'll make it a lot easier and a lot quicker. So the first thing I'm going to do is just change the colors. I'm going to start with orange. So select all of the items, go to color, and then you can select from any color here. If you don't see the color you like, just click on this icon here and then move this little icon around and then you can simply select a color of your choice. So I'm going to select quite a bright orange and then deselect. You can see this one hasn't changed to orange, so I'm just going to select it, go to line color. And once I've selected that orange, it comes up in document colors. I can just click on it and use that color. So for the first one here, I'm just going to resize it. I'm just going to move on to this one here. And to make them the same size, often what will happen is Canva will introduce these pink lines which will show you when something's aligned. So when I just resize this item here, you can see it's lined up with the bottom of that one. And if I resize the top, it's lined up with the top, meaning they're the same size. Then I'm going to use this little bar. I'm going to make it quite short and we'll start with these going upwards. Now you can select both of these items here. You can see if I click and drag across both of them, it will select both of these items. And if we want to center this bar with this item here, just select it, go to position and go over to center and it will center it to this item here. So now I'm just going to drag my square and resize it, move it over the top here. There we go. Now the size of your square will often depend on the size or the amount of the text that you enter into this box. So what we can do is go to text over here, just go into add a little bit of body text and then you can place your text in here. Now I'm just going to copy and paste some random text in. There we go. And the great thing about Canva is I can resize the box but if I actually want to resize the text, I can do that in a number of ways. So I can either select the box and go up to this icon here. You can use the decrease or increase font size tools. You can enter in a figure here or simply resize the box from the corner. And then you can pop your text in here. It's completely up to you how you make the text look. So I'm just going to move this box. So I just changed the size of this box. That's it. And then deselect it and just move it to where we want. If you think that your rectangle is the perfect size, select both the text and the rectangle. Again, go to position and then just click middle. So center to the middle. If the center's grayed out, that means it's already centered. Then what you can do is group it together. That means it will all be one element. Now I'm going to change the text here to white. So select the middle, although it's grouped, you can still select just the inside box or the outside box. So just select that text box, go to text color. And I'm going to select white. What I'm also going to do is just select that title. If you click again, you can see there's a small cursor in the box. I'm just going to click and drag across the title and just select bold. 
So the title for me is a little bit too close to the top of this box, so I'm just going to ungroup everything. I'm going to select the box. Sometimes you have to deselect everything and then reselect the item that you want. And I'm just going to move that down. Perfect. Now I'm going to just group them back together. Then I can move this box and as I move it over the two elements below, you can see that Canva will line that up perfectly for me and I don't have to go back and use the alignment tools. So that's really handy. So the next thing to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of text in this arrow item here. I'm just going to put in January, deselect, and then just move it down. I'm just going to change the size of this box. And then you can use this icon here to move it. And again, select both the text and the item. Go to position. Now I will line it to the middle, but if I line it to the center, you can see it's slightly over to the left. So I'm just going to select the box and just use my arrow key to where I think it's in the center. Select the box again, go to text color and select white and then deselect. Okay, once you're happy with all of this and the alignment, select it all by running your mouse all the way through those items. You can see Canva select them all and select. Now what we can go ahead and do is duplicate it. So once you've selected the group, go to this icon here that says duplicate, and then we can move it all the way over to the end because this is going to be one of the end groups. So all I now have to do is ungroup, select this arrow here, simply use my rotation tool and move it all the way around. There we go, 180 degrees is that moved. Then I can move everything to line up to the center, position, center. And if we're not happy with January or the text here, then we can move it over. But we sort all of the text out at the very end and all of the colors. Now I'm just going to select these items and then I'm going to duplicate them and I'm going to move it down to here. And then I'm just going to move these items around to just make sure this is grouped. Move this up to here. There we go select everything and then make sure it's centered. And then I'm going to select this box, ungroup it, select the text, duplicate it, move it over to here and then change, oops, there we go. And then change this text, click, double click inside. Then once I'm happy, we can select it all, go to group, and then we can duplicate this three times or twice, because I think we've, we just need three on the bottom and then select the group, then go to duplicate. And then I'm going to duplicate another one for the top here. And I'm just gonna ungroup this, go to ungroup, and then regroup this. And we can move that. Regroup these two, move this one up. Here we go. So, very cleverly, Canva will once again give you these guides. So once you're happy with this layout, just select everything, select group, and then duplicate, and then just copy and paste it across. So I've made a mistake with this one, and we actually need one of these arrows. So I'm going to select this group here, just duplicate it one more time, and then let's just move that across a minute. Select all of this and just press delete, and we'll pop one of these on the end here. Okay, so now you're happy. So everything's grouped together now. Select it all. Go to position. Perfect. Okay, so they're all equally, but they're not e all equal at the bottom. So let's select the bottom groups and then we can select bottom. And then at the top here, we can select top. So they're all lined up. So all the top and bottom boxes are all lined up. You can see the center is not lined up. So let's select the bottom group select ungroup, select the top group, select ungroup, and then let's select everything across the middle, then go to position and select middle and then group. Perfect. So they're all perfectly lined up in the middle there. Select everything and then group it together. And now you can go to back to position, go to center, center of page and middle. So now it's perfectly lined up, but you can also grab the corner and you can resize this if it is too big or too small. So I'm just going to resize mine a little bit smaller, go to center and middle again, 
and then maybe use your arrow keys if you want to to move it down for a title, but that's again, personal preference. So the next thing is color. So I'm going to select it and ungroup everything. So I'm gonna keep the first section as orange. So the second one, I'm going to select this group. I'm going to go to color. And for this one, I'm going to select a darker red. So I'm gonna move this icon at the bottom here to the red section. The color you choose will appear in this box here. I'm just gonna move this down to a slightly darker red, but you can also see your color that will appear in a live preview as well. Perfect. Once again, the mark hasn't changed, so select the mark, select the color, and then click red. And then I'll just do this one, and then I'll speed up the video. So select the group, go to color. This time I'm going to select a pink. Perfect, and once again, just change the mark. Perfect, so I'll just speed up the video and finish the rest of the colors. Perfect, now I'm just gonna go ahead and just click on the titles. Let's go to the second one here. Just click again, click again, get the cursor next to your title if you need to change anything. I'm just going to change the title, but you'll have to change the entire text. So I'm just gonna go through and change those. And then I'm just going to go along and change all the months here as well. And then come back at the end and do some final adjustments. Perfect, so now let's, let's select everything, group it together. And again, if you need to move it down the page, you need to put a title in. That's absolutely fine. You can you just use your arrow keys. Now for the background, you can just simply go to elements and then we'll just scroll up select the square, stretch it across your page using the corners. There we go, then go up to shape. And then you can select any color you like or you can select a gradient. So I'm gonna select this gradient and go to position and then go to two back. Then you can go back up to color here. You can click on this gradient and as you can see, we've got some additional customizations in here. So select that. And then you can change your gradient down the bottom here, or you can change the color of the gradient. Just simply click on the colors and then you can change those as well. So I'm going to change it to this gradient here. So finally, how to export this, you just simply go to share, then you go to download, then you can download this as any file type you like. Let's go to JPEG. You can adjust the size and the quality. Once you're happy, just simply click download. As you can see, it's downloading here and it's downloaded to my computer. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.